Hey everyone, it's Cameron. I'm back with a sales update video for the month of February. Uh, definitely improved since January, getting closer to where I want to be. Obviously with a little bit less days in the month too. Uh, could have been at 2500 possibly as I had been selling a lot at the end of the month. Um, had some pretty good sales, nothing too crazy, but some solid ones that uh, were pretty good numbers. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. I will say March though, on top of that, has been pretty good so far. So I'm hoping in March I can um, beat my uh, goal of 3000 for the month. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, starting off though, we started off the month with these. Um, this is an old listing, Church's Custom um, Suede Shoes. They were real beat up. That was the problem. Um, sold them for $38. Interesting about this was um, someone bought these shoes for me a while back, about six or seven months ago. Guy wanted to cancel the order right away. He had paid, I hadn't shipped him yet, so I canceled it. We gave him the money back. Um, about three months later, he messaged me and said he never got his money. I showed him proof um, in eBay, a message that they sent me that it had been refunded. And I checked PayPal, and again, it showed that that transaction was refunded. And then right after I sold these ones in February, I got another message from him saying he didn't have the money he was going to sue me and all this stuff. I sent him the evidence to let eBay know, and I told him that, um, you know, both PayPal and eBay have confirmed with me that you have the money. You should check, you know, your PayPal account. It seems like he may think it was going to go back into his bank, like some of the wording he used. It seems like he also didn't use English as his first language, but I'm guessing maybe he thought the money would have come back into his bank account, and maybe it's in PayPal instead. So not sure what the deal is, but eBay said that everything was fine, and so did PayPal, so we should be good. These This buyer did buy them, got them. He was in San Francisco and um, never heard anything back from him, so I'm assuming he's happy. Uh, Street Fighter 3 for Sega Dreamcast, disc only. Just a disc I had lying around in some video game stuff I was going through. Sold that for 27 bucks. An HP uh, calculator. This one was not working. I bought the little uh, cell battery that it needed. Um, I think I paid like a dollar or something for the battery. That sold for 18. So if you have an old calculator or a little video, small video game system or something, don't hesitate to order a battery. They're pretty cheap online. And you can sometimes fix these little things and then still make some money off them. Uh, this is an N64 Tremor Pack. It's brand new in the box. <clears throat> it's not the official Nintendo one. It's made by Performance. They made a lot of aftermarket stuff, but it's still sold for $11. Simpsons Head and Run paid $2. This is at a garage sale, sold for $15. This is the Simpsons you want to look for. The other one, I forgot what it's called, but it's not as good. Simpsons Hit and Run is the better one. Um, South Park Keychains. Uh, I paid $2 for a huge keychain lot. Pulled those out of there, sold them for 13 um, This is a paper punch for like crafting and stuff. I bought a lot of, a box of crafting stuff at Goodwill for 20 bucks, uh, mainly because I saw this in there and this one goes for 35 Um Paid 5 bucks for a Guitar Hero wireless, just sold this one piece for $34.99. Uh, be on the lookout for Guitar Hero and Rock Band. They call, it, they call them dongles or receivers. They do pretty well. Um, these are some, I bought some teacher supplies and they had a bunch of this, uh, math manipulative type stuff. These are Unifix cubes. I just counted them out and they shipped in a padded flat rate. So 22 bucks, pretty good. Uh, just a Game Boy game, Pocket Bomberman, $8. Um, I had a lot of these Cook Street shirts I had bought. They don't do well on their own, but, um, uh, I'm happy to get rid of them at $20. World of Warcraft shirt, um, it's a tank shirt. This is one I when I used to play a long time ago. I had this and I sold it for twenty bucks. Got good feedback, so that was pretty awesome. Also sold a Cuisinart bread machine paddle for twelve bucks. Will Durant, I bought all these um, Will Durant the Story of Civilization books. Actually, it was a mixed set. Some of them were from different years. Um, I had to buy one replacement one, and I ended up selling it for ninety five. I think I spent probably. 25 bucks to complete the set and buy all the books but if the story of civilization if you see that anywhere like at an estate sale probably you would see it i definitely pick them up here are some more punches here from that same lot sold these uh they're called the whale style uh, i sold those for 20 bucks um carnival flatware if you look out for this 
Um, it says Carnival on it. It's got usually white or sometimes blue, black handles. This stuff, for some reason, people are real into. I paid, I want to say, three or four bucks for this and sold it for 25 uh, Two fat PS2s. Both were broken. Um, one had a disc thing that was broken. The other one wouldn't even power on. Sold those for 28 My wife had picked up all these Sizzix um, little cut die things. Uh, it was a complete set of you know the ABCs for each one just a different style it just didn't have the case I think we paid six we got 35 um, Beatrix Potter I bought all these books I paid like a quarter a piece for them sold them for 28 so that was pretty awesome the Oilers helmet if you saw my video one of my favorite finds this year so far uh, paid two dollars for this I think and then sold cleaned it up and it looked a lot better sold it for 55 within like 12 hours so that was awesome hopefully it went to somebody's man cave or something um, two reheater packs. I had bought a bunch of these at a fill a bag sale. That was fill a bag for a dollar. Um, they're like little packs that you can heat up and keep warm and stuff. Sold them for fifteen. Uh, got good feedback on. Them. Haven't sold any since, but hopefully we'll sell some more. Uh, Vector Man for eight bucks. Sega game. Uh, this is an older listing too. I had this for a while. This Schaefer pen set. Uh, I think I paid ten bucks, and it sold for eighteen. So the worst part is I think someone a while back offered me like 25 for it a long time ago. And I thought that was, I might do better. So made money, didn't lose anything, but yeah, I wouldn't do that again. I paid a dollar for this Letting Go of Anger um, sermon set, uh, sold it for 14 This was not supposed to be the picture. I had another one. This one shouldn't have been there as the front one. Um, so it's a Van Halen shirt. That's for 13 bucks. These expansion packs inside the Nintendo 64, if you're looking at the top of it, you'll see that little um, piece that you can pull out, and then there'll be one of these in there. If it's the black um, expansion or the black pack and memory pack in there, it's not worth anything really. But the one with the red top, this one will sell for 26 bucks. Um, even if the system's no good, you could pull this out and still do well. Um, Horatio Hornblower's books is bought from a library. They had them. Two dollars each. I guess I paid fourteen for the set. Sold them for uh, forty-three. So pretty happy with that. An old Mercury Comet um, emblem. I had bought three of these at a garage sale years ago, probably six years ago, five years ago. I had sold the first two. I think I sold one for like thirty-something bucks and one for like twenty-five bucks. And I had lost this one, and then I was cleaning up my stuff and found it and sold it for fifteen. Um, sold this hat for eleven dollars, but it did get it's in the process of being returned. Uh, she waited a long time. She said the hat's great, but um, it is too small for her head, so um, she's gonna send it back. It's fine. It's not worth fighting somebody over eleven dollars, honestly. Um, these this sale went through, but we had to the person requested to cancel it, so I don't know why it doesn't show anything on there, but it it didn't actually happen, so that one doesn't count. Uh, two Cutco knives, paid a dollar a piece for these at an estate sale. I'm not sure how estate sale owners don't know about Cutco. It seems like it's something you should pick up on, especially if they have nice things, because Cutco knives are so expensive. So two bucks, sold for 55 Awesome. Um, this polo thing, it didn't have a tag on it. It was it was kind of beat up. I sold it for 20 and the guy uh, wanted the, he wanted all of his money back. He was like threatening me that um, you know, I ripped them off because there's no tag. Even though the thing says there's no tag in the listing, I show a picture of the collar or whatever. Um, I didn't want to pay for any shipping or anything. I just gave him his 20 bucks back and told him to leave me alone. So um, it depends on the situation. If someone's being a real pain in the butt, sometimes it's worth fighting depending on it. Sometimes it's just better to give them the money and, you know, tell them to leave because it gets annoying to have to fight somebody and do all that. and eBay really doesn't have your back when it comes down to it. Um, it's easy for the buyer to, to get away with things. Uh, paid four or five bucks for this um, uh, wrestling belt here. Had the little spinner in the center. Sold for 25 bucks pretty quick. Some Bronk Burnett books. I bought this at a huge book sale, a quarter a piece. Sold them for 18 Harlem Gobetrotters. See, I should have cropped that better. Or moved her. That's my wife's laptop bag. Um, should have removed or should have um, sold this for more. I thought you know I, I paid I think seven or eight dollars for it. I was hoping to get more like thirty five, 
but it ended up not selling after a while, and I just dropped it down to 28 and sold instantly. So, still made money. You know, definitely I would buy it again, but was hoping it would do a little better. Uh, PS2 multi tap. This is where you can hook up multiple controllers to the PS2 system. Sold that for 12. Two PS2 games, Grand Theft Auto. Sold those for 12. Um, four BattleTech books that I bought from a book sale. Sold those for nine. This goes to a um, medical, like uh, hot cold therapy, I guess. Like if you have a knee surgery or something like that, a lot of they use this. This is just a wrap. Sold that for twenty. If you saw, I bought a when I bought those cut cone knives. I also bought a. Uh, this goes to a bed. It's like a movable, adjustable bed. Paid a dollar for it. It sold for twenty five really quick. Um, this is a cool quick dry um, skirt. I bought four of these a while back, three bucks a piece. I finally sold, I think, all of them. This one sold for 18. Um, this was just a Ralph Lauren a PGA polo. It sold for 13. Uh, five. These I had bought all these four bucks each, so I paid 20. Um, they're like antique prescription. I don't know if they're really antique, all of them, but prescription glasses. They were. Um, I didn't really want to go through and list them individually. I was just trying to move some stuff because I had a bit of a backlog. Uh, someone offered me 75 and I took it, so that was good. Quick dry, uh, or fit dry Nike for 18. It was a 3XL, so that was good. Um, Sony PS2 with three games. This is a Slim. Uh, I got 60 bucks for that, so definitely look out for those. It, I did put a memory card, one controller. Um, I shipped this in a regional A box, and all of that fit in there, which is pretty nice. Um, here's some kind of looks like carnival in a way, uh, flatware. It was just a bag I bought for five bucks. In there was a couple of Mardi Gras pieces by Washington Ford, which are pretty good. I thought they all were that, but they're not. These were just made in Korea pieces, but these still sold for 20 bucks. So with these kind of handles, you want to look at it. You want to look for stuff that's made in Korea, um, or made in maybe Japan or something like that. You just don't want stuff made in China. That's usually not the good stuff. Um, three more punches from that lot. Sold those for 25 So the lot ended up being pretty good. That was just a little manual I had lying around. Sold it for 8 bucks for Spider-Man. Another Nike. I had paid 2 or 3 bucks. Sold it for 15 If it's a size large, this is about what I can get. It seems like it's about 15 And I don't always sell it until I have to wait to find the right one. I also um, like to find the striped ones or different patterned ones. I think they do a little bit better. Than just the plain old um, blue or black ones. Uh, Warriors game, I had picked this up. I paid, what did I pay? 10 bucks for this or 7 bucks for this, something. I paid up for it, but I sold it for 28 Mario Party Manual, $9. Uh, game Boy Advance SP I had lying around, sold that for 37 This was cool. I paid 6 bucks for this, this ranch wear, and it had some wear on the front. And it sold for 30 bucks, and I got good feedback. So uh, definitely we'll look out for that brand. I never heard of it before. Um, sold these two calculators. Paid $1 for this one. This is my personal one that I used to have when I was in college, but it, it broke. And so did this one. It was broken, so I just sold those for 16 Even if you buy a TI-83 and it doesn't work, just hold on to it. Try to get two of them. This was a TI-80-something else, so it wasn't even as good. If I had two TI-83s that were broken, I could probably get 20 bucks. Um, Jared Weaver jersey, got good feedback on this. I had paid 10 I think, but sold it for 40 Scrabble tiles, so this is a lot of 1000 Sold that for 43 Used to be able to get <clears throat> like 80 bucks for a bag of 1000 but it's definitely come down a lot. Still worth it, but you can't really pay more than $2, and you really want to average probably more like a dollar or something on these to make money. Um, an iPod paid what, $10 for this, I believe. Um, it did work. I got it to power on, but it would not hold a charge for long. I uh, still sold it for 50 bucks. It wasn't 80 gig. They also had a bunch of music on there, too. A bunch of PS1 discs. These were all uh, discs that were super damaged. I didn't want to research them. Couldn't really find somebody locally that I could trust. Um, there was Crash Bandicoot. There was a Digimon one, I believe. And a bunch of Spyros. There's a couple. I think there's three Crashes and, like, three Spyros and a Digimon, and then some other ones for PS1 that weren't so great. But I knew that these uh, crash and stuff, if you refurb it or resurface these ones and they work, you could probably get 15 to 20 a disc. So 
you know, you could definitely make money if you had that. I just wanted to move them and get rid of them. So for 55 bucks, gone. Um, WrestleMania, it was in the box. The box is beat up, and there's even stickers on the cartridge. Sold that for 13 Here is a Wii lot similar to that PS1. All these discs are messed up. It had Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports. And there was a Rampage one and a Lynx crossbow training. Um, just really beat up discs, sold them for 19 If you buy a bunch, if you buy video games enough and you will eventually get discs that are just really destroyed, uh, if you make a pile of them, even if it's cross-system, you can still sell them in a lot. Just make sure you let people know what good games you have. If you just say it's a random stack and don't show them anything, they're not going to pay a lot. But if you show them that there's good games in there, pull out the good ones and show those, you can still get pretty good money. Body Atlas DVDs. I want to say I paid probably 15 bucks for this and only sold it for 30. Thought I would do better, but did okay. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, 16 bucks. Sold this for $14. So, War, this thing is a beast. It costs seven dollars to ship. I had paid five. We'll never pick it up again. Was not worth it. Uh, 20 questions. Paid three dollars for this. Sold it for 23. Mega Man. This came out of a Game Boy lot. Sold that for 10. A woman's Koi Scrub sold that for 12. Tommy Hilfiger, I think I sold this for 20. I had paid um, three dollars for that. Sold it for 20, so that was good. Old jeans I had, Rockin' Republic women's jeans sold those for 12. Uh, Monopoly parts finally sold the pieces for 10. Another one from the Game Boy lot sold that for 16. Legend of Zelda bought this at uh, Goodwill for four, sold it for 44. This, I had bought a gun cleaning kit a while back, and I already sold it, and in there was a Remington manual, or like a manual instruction advertising type piece, pamphlet, sold that for 11 This was a um, knife, it's called Classy, I don't know, I never heard of the brand, I had paid a dollar, I only sold it for 10 so it was okay. Uh, Pokemon 23 karat gold, it was in the box, uh, it was open though, and the box is beat up, sold, paid 4 for that, sold it for 18 some more um, from the teacher lot. They had a bunch of these tiles. I had paid 20 for all the teacher's uh, math manipulative stuff. And I still have a bunch left. And I also got this Pokemon thing there too. So this sold for 30 uh, three, uh, three games here. Got good feedback on them too. Had them lying around. Sold those for 43 uh, Pacific. Uh, this is a cribbage board. Paid a dollar. Sold it for 16 It did ship first class. And got good feedback. This was just a random old machete looking beat up knife. Sold it for 20. It was pretty large. Um, and it ended up costing like seven or eight dollars to ship it. I had paid five. It really was, or I paid 250. It really wasn't a great deal. I made money, but the person who bought it gave me good feedback and messaged me that this thing was awesome. They love it. So they live like out in Nebraska or something. I don't know what they were going to use it for, but they were pretty happy with it. Um, Riven Games sold that for 11 I always thought this game would be worth more, but it just really isn't. Um, these games sold, they didn't sell for this, they sold for 25 I got a best offer. Had them at 27 bunch of DS games. I had paid 50 cents each for these, so what, 450 whatever that is. Um, and someone offered me 25 so I responded to her with an offer, or someone messaged me when I take 25 I responded with an offer of 25 we sold it, so that was cool. Don't, not even sure why I listed this when I did. It's just a, um, you know, it's like a cleaning thing or whatever, and it's used. But somebody bought it at thirteen bucks, and she gave me good feedback and says it works great. So that was awesome. Um, oh, I also got a new background. You can see a little bit of part I have to try to fix there. I'm, I've been trying. I'm not. I've done a couple different types of photos with it. Trying to figure out what I like, but it will be mostly going to the white background. Um, this is a Walkman. Paid 10 for this. Sold it for 33 um, It didn't work. There was a little bit of an issue with it. Probably could have gotten more if there wasn't. Had this DS lying around. It was covered in Lego Star Wars stickers. I got them all off, cleaned it up, threw a Lego Harry Potter game in there, and it sold for 50 uh, Pioneer Remote for 20 This is the 2DS I got. It did work, but it had a broken joystick here and the memory or where the game goes there was an issue with it too um, sold that for 36 some more books for 11 a Disney Lion King top for 15 for a scrub 
Here's another one with the white background, GameCube. Um, sold that for sixty dollars. Uh, this I bought a bunch of stuff for seventy bucks, and this was one thing that came out of there. Um, looks like we got a Bible here for seventeen bucks. Happy with that. And lastly, global shipping program sale. Sold these Dungeons and Dragons uh, Tile Master sets. Um, they ended up shipping Smart Post for like twelve bucks, and I had paid two bucks a piece, and there were three of them, so forty-five dollars. So that's it, guys. Um, the next one will be March. So definitely did pretty well. Had some cool sales. I did start the new background. I think it looks a lot um, cleaner, a little more professional. There's a couple of different photos you'll see from it that have been listed that I'm kind of messing around with. So I'm not sold on exactly what I want to do. But it definitely is getting, um, getting better, trying to do a better job with my listings. But overall, pretty good. Um, month and March is doing pretty good as well. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you're doing and have a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.